Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips for babies aged two months old. Tip number one is feeding. You should only feed your baby breast milk or formula. No other food is necessary up until they're about four to six months old. Breast milk is far preferable to formula, but if you do cho choose to use formula, then iron fortified formula is necessary. If you are breastfeeding and you plan to go back to work, ask your doctor about a breast pump. Breast pumps can be used at work to express breast milk and store in a refrigerator for your child. Many insurance companies will cover the cost of a breast pump. Another tip for feeding is what to expect. If you're breastfeeding, you should be feeding your baby about every two to three hours and you can expect to go about four to five hours overnight without needing your baby to breastfeed. Formula fed infants should can feed about every three to four hours and can go up to six hours overnight. It's also important to burp your baby either halfway, halfway into feeding or at the end of feeding. Tip number two is avoid secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke increases your baby's risks of infection asthma, and hospitalization. Tip number three is tummy time. Make sure your baby gets tummy time. Tummy time is just having your baby on her tummy during the day when she's playing. This helps your baby build muscles in her neck that will, are important for controlling her head. It also helps with um, prevent an area, a flat area to um, develop on the back of your baby's head. Tip number four is talk to your baby. When your baby makes sounds, respond to your baby and, sh and make sure your baby sees your face. Singing and talking are other ways to communicate with your baby and so is reading aloud, looking at books and talking about the pictures. All these things will help your baby develop language and help your baby's brain develop. Tip number five, sleep tips. Make sure when you put your baby to sleep, your baby is, has her back to, to the bed. So you put your baby on her back. Um, make sure that your baby's in a crib, not in your bed, and it's preferable to have the crib in the parent's room. Um, you can expect your baby to sleep up to four to six hours overnight. If your baby seems to be waking often during the night, try feeding your baby more during the day because your baby might be waking up because she's hungry. And when you put your baby to sleep, don't put a bottle in the baby's mouth. Tip number six, you can't spoil your baby. People think, a lot of parents think that by picking their baby up and, and cuddling them, and as soon as they start crying, they're gonna spoil their baby. That is not true. Respond to your baby immediately when she's crying or upset. This builds your baby's sense of trust in the world and trust in you and makes babies more confident as they grow to be children and allows them to know that they'll be cared for. Finding a good place for childcare, tip number seven. Wherever you decide to go for childcare, you should, you should be able to see good infection control practices at the place, so frequent hand washing and a clean environment. And you should expect a daily activity report about your baby's feedings, sleep, play and bath and um, elimination. Tip number eight, safety tips. Never shake your baby because it could cause permanent brain damage. When you're driving with your baby in the car, make sure that the baby's in the back seat and that the baby's seat is facing to the rear. Never leave your baby in a tub of water alone, even if it's just a tiny bit of water. And keep all small objects and plastic bags away from your baby. Tip number nine, vaccines. Make sure you check with your, your health care provider so that your baby is up to date with all her vaccines. These at two months include hepatitis B, rotavirus, DTaP, Hib, pneumococcal, and in in inactivated polio. And tip number 10, believe in yourself. Having a two month old is a great experience, a great pleasure, a great joy and I hope these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.